Can you tell us a little bit more about the cap weighting, the differences that you uh, talked about just now? Well, of course, capitalization weighting weights companies in accordance with shares outstanding times the price, which means the more expensive the company, the more you're going to put into it. So it winds up being growth tilted, favoring companies at high multiples, momentum chasing, pursuing companies that are rising in price, and popularity weighted, weighted heavily towards the companies that are most popular. Why should we expect a full equity risk premium for investing in that fashion? Now, fundamental index simply seeks to mirror the look and composition of the broad macro economy, uh, weighting companies according to their economic footprint, how big is their business. And there's a lot of measures of a company's size, sales, profits, book value, dividends. These are all relevant measures. So by using multiple measures of a company's size, you can mirror the look and composition of the economy instead of the look and composition of the market. What does that do for you? It means that you're moving money out of the most popular, trendy, and comfortable companies and moving money into out-of-favor companies that are often priced to offer superior forward-looking returns. We think it's a much more valuable, much more sensible way to construct a portfolio. Do you reckon there's a specific type of weighting that will gain the most traction? I think cap weighting will be dominant for as long as I'm alive. I think fundamental index will continue to be the second most popular and most significant source of value add for those in the indexing community in the years ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.